In this video, we'll be showing you how to start a Fivetran connector sync, then kick off a DBT cloud job. Let's dive in. So we're going to start off inside of Fivetran and just show off the connector that we're going to start the sync with uh, inside of Shipyard in just a minute. So we're just going to start this Google Sheet solution video test connector inside of Fivetran. So let's jump over to Shipyard and, and, and start that process. So inside of Shipyard, we're, we're, we're uh, inside of the Fleet Builder here. Uh, so we want to start off by searching for our Fivetran blueprints. And then we want to do the execute sync and check status. So when I click that, it's going to it's gonna uh, create a vessel for us over here in the Fleet Builder. And it's also going to pop up the, the option to click on the authorization guide. Uh, and that'll walk you through how to find your API key and API secret if you need it. I'm going to skip that for right now. I'm going to name this vessel execute sync and check status. Okay, and then like, like I mentioned before, I'm going to grab my API key and my API secret. And then I'm going to run, I'm going to, and then I'm going to uh, input my uh, connector ID that's also from Fivetran. So for each vessel, you can set up notifications uh, to, and it's automatically going to populate the creator's email. You can see mine there, but you can add as many as you'd like. Uh, and you can send a message after an error or after a completed on demand run. Um, and then you also have guardrails with number of retries, time between retries, runtime cutoff uh, that you can use to customize guard guardrails there as well. Okay, so it looks like our Favtran vessel is set up to uh, start the sync of that connector and then check the status and tell us when it's finished. And so as soon as that's finished, we want our DBT cloud job to run. So we're going to go to our vessels, search for DBT cloud. You can see it here. Uh, and then we want to execute that job. So we're going to click that to add the vessel. So we'll name this DBT cloud execute job. Okay. And we're going to need our service token and then the account ID and job ID from the specific account and job that we want to run. So input th those in. So I'm going to drag those and we want to connect them and you'll see that we'll connect those based on a success so that the DBT cloud job will only run if the five trans sync is successful. Um, so the last thing we want to do before we kick this job off is we want to name this fleet. So we'll name this fleet five tran to DBT cloud. Okay, so now we're going to click Save and Finish, which is going to take us to a screen. It's going to say that our fleet was created successfully, and then we can click Run Your Fleet, which is going to kick off an on-demand run for us. As well as, as on-demand runs, we also have the ability for you to schedule, uh, schedule runs under our Triggers tab there. Uh, so you can schedule runs based on the hour, the day, the week. Um, and then you can also use our API to... Um, Call the API to start the fleet run from any other software or just from Python uh, on, on, inside your local machine as well. Um, so you can see this took us over to our fleet log page here, uh, which is going to show us a Gantt chart as well as a table showing us how each um, how each vessel is going. So I can click inside of this to get some live output. You can see the environment variables that that we set there, um, and and so that's going to keep outputting uh, outputting live as this vessel continues running. Um, and so as soon as this vessel or finishes running, uh, you'll see the DBT cloud uh, vessel will start to execute that job. So we can see our five trim vessel just finished running, the execute seek and check status. We can see uh, the green check mark here down on the table as well, the note that's finished. The next vessel, the DBT cloud vessel, has kicked off now. You can see it by, uh, by the yellow color and, and it's loading down there as well. Um, so you can see the duration of it running. And so that one's finished. So now we can go into DBT cloud uh, and we should be able to see the run is actually executing and running a, a, as we speak. So if I go to our DBT job, um, you can see that this production run is running and it was triggered 13 seconds ago. And you can also see that it's tr it's triggered by Shipyard. Um, <clears throat> so inside of DBT, it'll show that Shipyard is what actually started that job um, as opposed to some other API or a manual run now click inside of DBT Cloud as well. Um, so in this video, we showed how a five trend, how a five trend sync, um, we can we can start a five trend sync and then kick off a DBT cloud job as soon as that five trend sync is complete. If you have any questions about this solution or any other potential solution, use the link in the description to set up a time to chat with our team of data experts. You can go to shipyardapp.com to start building powerful workflows just like this for free. Want to see us tackle more solutions? Check out these related videos.